third down and one. Ohio! Ohio! Come on, here we go! They'll run it. Here's McFadden. And he's going to have a first down as he's brought down at the 44-yard line. Everyone understood their role on that play. Third and one. You know the defensive guys, they're trying to get down and get low and get leverage on the offensive lineman, but they didn't allow that to happen. They created a crease and allowed him to get through for a first down. First down and 10 now for the offensive group. Let's go! One, nine, one. Now Prescott. It's caught by Bryan. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. Call it a gain of five, and it'll be second down. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you've got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. Inside four minutes to go, third quarter. Stop him right on the midfield stripe. It'll be a pickup of a couple, and it leaves him with a third and three. Well, so many times we look at a short run, and we praise the offense for trying to set the tempo and establish things, but the defensive guys, hey, they just won the battle there. It wasn't a big run given up. They don't always have to absorb the body blow. Sometimes they dish them out themselves. Three yards left to grab here on third down. Ohio, Ohio. Play clock Let's winding go. down. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. Looking left side, it's complete. He's got it. A good gain of 14 there, and it moves the chains. When you execute a drag or a crossing route really well and give them a chance to let it develop a little bit, you can gain some significant yardage hitting your tight end on that one. Offense comes to the line now, first and ten. Ohio, Ohio. And no press coverage here. They are backing off in the secondary. Let's go, let's go. They come out here in the eye. Ohio. Time running out here on the play clock. And they'll bring the big tight end across the formation left. Tenth carry now for Allian. And he's brought down. We'll give him ten yards on that one, and that'll earn him a fresh set of downs. The more football I watch, the more I want to check and see if teams are going to panic when they're down on the scoreboard. And this team has shown no signs of doing that. A lot of the time, they come out after the half, things haven't worked so well in the first go around. they want to throw the football like crazy. But the way to open up throwing the ball is to run it. And they've run it well here to start the second half. So here we go, first and 10 now. They keep on the ground with Elliott. Looking for a crease, can't find one. Stopped at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there, second down. So nothing there. I don't know that that's all in the back, though. You got to look at blocking there, don't you? I would agree with that totally. At some point, they have to win at the point of attack. Instead, it was the defense getting it done again and holding them to no gain. Offense looking to avoid a third and long. It's second and 10. the gun. They'll look to throw. Incomplete. He was looking for Terrence Williams that time. Third down here. So pretty good coverage there and both of these defenses, they've had good coverage throughout this one. No doubt about it and in today's NFL where we're used to a bit more scoring, this feels almost like a well-pitched game in baseball on both sides where the tension continues to build. Who's going to make the big play? It's been a pretty long drive. This will be play number nine. And they need 10 yards out of it on third. Come on, let's go! Ohio! Ohio! 
He'll look to throw here. He completes it to Bryant. And he takes it down to the 13 and picks up the first. 12 yards there as they move the chains. I don't care how many times we see it, I still get a kick out of watching quarterbacks and receivers do the pass tree in pregame warm-up. But I always remember that when we go to practices, we see that after practices as well. They really tune it up, don't they? They tune it up. They know why they do it for these situations. First down. And they build that trust, and that's why they're able to find him in this type of a situation. And the offense readies for play number 10 of this series. Ohio. Ohio. They come out here in the eye. Now back to the ground with Elliott. And strong running there as he's inside the 10 and down to the 8-yard line. Frustrating for a defense, energizing for an offense. Finding a way to create that type of yardage in your running game, that'll make the guys carrying the ball very, very happy. Well, just play after play after play on this long drive for the offense. Ohio, Ohio. In motion goes the tight end. On second down, Elliott. And he is going to lose yardage here. And we're back now in Charlotte. This one's still anybody's ball game. It's a one-point difference here as we begin the fourth quarter play. And the Panthers bring in their nickel set as they try to defend here on third down. Five defensive backs. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. And he couldn't hang on to it through the contact. Incomplete. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. And he missed it. It's no good. And this score will stay right where it is. And that one, my goodness, that was almost too easy. Yeah, and you're not going to too many attempts shorter than that one. I don't think anyone got a finger on it. That's about as bad a miss as you can have. They come out here in the eye. Now they'll run it on the toss. And he stopped immediately there. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. The fourth quarter here, they've got the lead. They want to keep it on the ground. That's what they're doing. Smart football. Keep the clock grinding. Keep it going. But you got to figure now, they're going to see more people stacked up at the line of scrimmage as they try and bleed it out. Second down, here's Newton. And he goes out of bounds across the 40-yard line. 23 yards on the play. All right, say it with me now. There are a lot of different words we come up with. Maybe we go back and forth after that play, getting his toes tapped down to make that catch. Crafty. Yep. Wiley. Oh, definitely. All the veteran names. You name it. Has every move in the book and continued to get better throughout his career so he could make that type of a catch. And now a first down following that long game. They'll try and grind some clock at Stewart. Fighting him off. Just ran right through the trash. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. And this defense continues to give them fits. They just can't get really anything going on the ground, can they? I love the theme that you just brought up. This defense has been tough 
all game long against the run. We just saw another example of it there. Offense still needing 10 yards, second down. This is Stewart again, and he'll be brought down, losing yardage back at the 40. It's a loss of two, now third down. It's not always as trite as that team wanted it more than the other, but on that play, it actually was true. They were faster to the ball. get him to fourth down. Pretty nice coverage there, but a missed opportunity for an interception. Let's face it, a lot of these defenders, they've got it all. Speed, athleticism, hands, a little bit questionable. And here's a very low line drive, almost whiffed on it. He'll look to set up his blockers. Only 29 yards on the punt there, definitely not his best. And the Cowboys will take over the football with a first and 10. Here's the Dallas offense now heading back out onto the field. And I hate to point to that missed field goal from their last drive, but you look at the scoreboard, they would be in the lead if they had that three. Well, no doubt those points or those missed points do loom large, but here they're getting a chance for a makeup, aren't they? Almost like my time in school, where I was always begging my teachers for a makeup exam. Here's their opportunity now to put those points on the board. And every point becoming more vital here in the second half. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. Now that's the way you want to start a drive. Talk about a tone setter as well as a playbook opener. Now if you want to take a big shot over the top, you're all positioned to do so. A handoff left, Elliott. And he'll be brought down right at the 45-yard line. A gain of four that time as the drive continues. So many teams want to throw the ball in this situation nowadays, but I love watching a team that has enough confidence to go ahead and run the football in that situation. That's almost a tendency breaker. So this offense really needs to make something happen here late in the fourth with the football. They go back to Elliott. He's been busy. And he's got it across midfield and down to about the 47-yard line. Just what you want on a first down run. Call it eight yards, and it's second and two. And it looks like this will be the last play before the two-minute warning. Time for a break. We're back to see what happens after this. this down only to about the 46. It'll be a gain of two on the play, but they'll remain a few Mario, inches short Mario. here with third down looming. When the 4-3 defense is functioning really well, you know who stays what we call clean and no one gets to him? The guy playing the middle linebacker position, the guy we call Mike. That means the defensive front is eating up all the blocks and just let him go to the football and make a play. I always appreciate runners who understand situations. That was just third and inches. No reason to dance around in the backfield and try and break off a bigger play. Just go pick up the first down, and that's exactly what he did. So the run moves the chains, and here we go on first down. got it over the middle and they're able to get this one past the 30 down to the 25 it's a pickup of 19 and the Cowboys are going to get a first down And here comes play number six 